Hey, I'm sure that you've noticed that Amazon is taking over the world. They are seeping into our everyday activities and more and more people are doing online shopping with them too. But guess what? More and more people are also making money online using Amazon. Look, all of these books and services, art stuff, all the products, apparel are sold on Amazon but they are actually sold by and made by everyday people like you and me. Amazon is just sort of like the middleman, the facilitator. In most cases, you bring the product, you bring the designs, you're the brains behind the business, but they are the ones who facilitate everything, pack and ship and handle customer service and all of those things. So today I'm going to share seven different ways that you can start using Amazon to make some extra cash or even to build a legit business if you'd like most of these things that I'm sharing today I've done in the past some I'm still doing but there are a couple that I've never tried I've just heard about and I can't give you like the complete complete rundown on each one of these but I'm going to do my best to at least walk you through the skills you're gonna need maybe how it works how much you get paid when you get paid so that you can choose the one that best fits well for you and your lifestyle I'm also gonna leave links down below to each each sign up form for each method on making money with Amazon and for resources that you will find helpful on your journey and also make sure to stick around till the end because I want to share a couple things with you some disclaimers advice slash tips to make these methods work for you so if you're ready to learn about these seven ways to start making money with Amazon support this channel by hitting that thumbs up button down below don't forget to subscribe so that you will receive more videos like this one in your feed and keep on watching. The first one on the list is called Amazon Trade-In and this is the easiest of the bunch. So if you have any sort of electronics laying around your home that you no longer use, like iPads, computers, laptops, anything like that, any sort of electronic devices, you can trade them in on Amazon for Amazon gift cards. Then you can use these gift cards to buy necessities like groceries, toiletries, maybe even office supplies or something nice for you too. So at the end of the day, it is like cash. Now obviously with this one, no skills required, just the products that you're going to be trading in. On Google, you can type in Amazon Trade Store or you can click the link in the description. This is what the landing page will look like and they have it separated into different categories. You can also use this plus button to find the specific item you have. I searched up Chromebook, click on the specific item you have, and here it'll just take you through to ask you a few questions about it. Automatically, it will give you an estimate about how much you would get for this device. Once they inspect it, they'll give you a precise price. You click here whether you want them to return it for free or accept whatever price they end up giving you. Continue to accept or decline the offer by clicking cancel. Then you'll be redirected to the summary page where you'll review all the terms, conditions, and actually confirm the trade-in where they will take you to a page where you can print the label so you can ship your item to them for free. With this method, the amount of money you will make depends on the items that you have to trade in and it also depends in how good of a condition these items are. Number two on this list is Kindle Direct Publishing. It used to be that traditional publishing was the only way to go if you wanted to write and publish a book. But now with Amazon's KDP, you can write and publish an ebook, upload it to Amazon, and it will be live on the Amazon store within 24 to 48 hours. A good skill to have for this method to work is to be a great writer. But don't count yourself out if you don't consider yourself to be one. For one, you can learn this skill. You can practice and over time get better at writing so that you're able to share message via your books. But you can also hire other people to write the books for you. Maybe you can just write the outline, tell them what you want in this book, what message you want to convey, and they will write it for you. You can find people on Fiverr or Upwork or other sites where you can hire people and they can write the book for you. For you. You can use KDP to build an author brand and a book-based business like Steve Scott has done 
but you can also use Kindle Direct Publishing like Project Life Mastery has done. He hires ghost writers to write his books and that's how he makes a living. Well, he has many other revenue streams, but that's one of the ways. To get started publishing your ebooks, you'll have to create a Kindle Direct Publishing account. I already have one, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Once you create your account, you can log into a dashboard that looks like this more or less. I have several books here, but yours will be empty when you're just getting started you just click on add title whether you want to do an ebook or a paperback so let's go with ebook for now then you'll be brought to this page where you fill out all of this information about your book title author name the description of your book keywords for people to be able to find your book category and so many other things so just go through this whole process of answering all these questions and once you've submitted everything they will look over it confirm that everything's good to go and publish your book and have it live on the Amazon store. The amount of money you're going to make with your books on KDP really depends on the size of your books, how much you price your books at, and also if you are going to publish exclusively with Amazon. That also has something to do with it. Also, Amazon has uh, Kindle Unlimited, which is a membership where people pay like $10 a month or something like that for them to be able to read an unlimited amount of books in a month. And authors get paid per page read from those people who are reading these unlimited books. So that also adds to your revenue. Also, once you have your ebook live and ready to go on Amazon, you can easily convert that into a paperback book, a physical book that you can sell and make even more money from. You can also convert that physical book into an audiobook and make more money on audible.com. So this is also like a three in one, making it a very lucrative way for you to make money if you're consistent uploading books. Number three is for the artistic and creative folks out there. It's Merch by Amazon. This is a print on demand service that Amazon offers. T-shirts are something that everybody wears no matter what part of the world you're from. T-shirts are a staple in anybody's wardrobe, but when they're a trendy design on the t-shirt, it's even better. And that's basically what Merch by Amazon is. You bring the design to the table, you upload it to Amazon, and they take care of the rest for you. This is similar to KDP, of course, having a graphic design background or knowing how to design graphics is a huge plus but you don't have to know that just yet. You can learn this skill by taking classes online on sites like Skillshare and Udemy or even watching lots of YouTube videos or you can research and brainstorm different designs that you know will be trendy and will sell well on Amazon and then hire a graphic designer from Fiverr or Upwork to do the design for you. Merch by Amazon is via invitation only. So you have to come to this page here, scroll down and click on this blue box here to request your invitation. Once they have an open spot for you, they will email you letting you know that you've been accepted. Once you've been accepted, you can log into a dashboard that looks like this. As you see right here, it says tier 25. So you'll get started with 25 different designs. Once you've sold 25 t-shirts, you'll go on to the next tier, which is I think 100 different designs. As with everything that we're talking about today, it's all a numbers game. The more you do, the more chances you have of making sales and actually making a decent amount of money. So I started this account long, long ago, years and years ago, and I just uploaded some designs and never really came back to it. This never really interested me, but if you're apt for fashion and graphic, this may be something you'd like. Fill in the different details on the colors, the listing price, and then just keep uploading as often as you can. Royalties for your t-shirt designs are really gonna depend on what you're selling, whether it's short sleeves, long sleeves, hoodies, tank tops, it just depends. I will leave a pricing chart down in the description just so you get a better idea about how much you'd be making per item. And I'm pretty sure that this works similar to KDP. You get paid via direct deposit or check around the 29th of each 
each month. So merch by Amazon can really be treated as a hobby to make some extra cash here and there, or it can be treated like a legit business where you put your all into it, study profitable niches, find out which designs are trendy and which ones sell the most, and just study the game. Next up is to become an Amazon associate or an Amazon influencer. Put simply, what this means is that you're going to partner up with Amazon, link to one of their many products that they have available on their store, and you will get a commission for bringing traffic to their store. Skills you will need for this method really just depends on what you want to do, where you want to build a platform or build an audience. If you're a great writer, you can build a blog and then promote products that relate to the topics you're writing about. If you are good with people, you like communication, you like interaction, you like photography type things, you can build an audience on Instagram and Facebook and then promote the products that you like that relate to the topics you're talking about. Basically, you need to find a platform that works well with the skills you already have where you can upload content consistently and promote products consistently so that you can make a decent revenue with the Amazon Associates slash influencer method. To get started, click on join now for free. You'll just fill out all the information. Here's the different steps you're going to have to take. You're going to have to give them a list of the websites that you're going to be promoting their products on and then just fill out some other general things. I have a complete step-by-step -step video on how to fill out this application. I will link the video down in the description and somewhere on the screen. So make sure to go check it out. But basically, they just want to make sure that y'all working together is a good idea idea that you're the right fit for them and they want to know where you will be promoting their products so once you're done filling out this information it's just all about waiting to see if you're approved with the influencer program you'll be going to this page you'll click get started and here you will fill out a similar application they're both the same thing except with Amazon influencers you'll get your own page where you will be linking the products and you'll have a special link to send people to where Whereas with associates, you'll be linking each product individually. So ideally with this method, you want to have an established site like a YouTube channel, a website or any other social media kind of page. But don't assume that just because you have a small following, you won't be accepted. Just try it. Just go on there, fill out the information, and they will let you know if you do get approved or not in a couple of days or a week or so. And if you don't get through, you can always try again later. So don't discount it just because you think that the online presence that you have is too small. Just try it. I've heard of people with large followings get rejected and people with small followings get approved. I guess it just depends on who's reviewing your application. I really don't know how it works. All I know is that you gotta just try it and see. Once you do get approved, you'll be able to create special links for the products that you want to recommend from Amazon. And when someone clicks on your special link, you will get a commission if they buy that product or if they buy anything else on the website for the next 24 for hours you'll get commission for it. it doesn't matter if they end up buying the product that you recommended in the first place your link got them to the store so anything they buy you will get a commission for and commissions really depends on what department they bought from different departments have different commission rates so I will leave all that information linked down below and also make sure to check out the video that I told you about it explains all of this in much more detail but with this method you will get paid via direct direct deposit or with check depending on how you want it. You can also get paid with gift cards and you will be paid on the monthly basis. Number five on the list is retail arbitrage and retail arbitrage basically means that you find good deals at stores and then you sell them for a profit online. In this case Amazon. This is something that I've never tried on Amazon but I think Poshmark is kind of like it. I buy items at stores sometimes at department stores and sell them for a profit online. Fine. 
The skills you need for this method are very learnable. Basically, you need to figure out what products are selling like hotcakes on Amazon, then figure out where to get these kind of products, and then you need to figure out how to get good deals on these, what coupons you can use, what discounts you can apply for at these department stores, and basically just study the system. You probably already have an Amazon regular account. So for retail arbitrage, you're going to have to sign up for an Amazon Stellar account as well. And this is the page you will come to to do so. You click sign up here and fill out all the information that they ask for. As you can see here, it's $40 a month plus selling fee. So they charge you for letting you use their customer database and they will also pack and ship everything for you so it costs money. But if you're just getting started, you can avoid this fee. Just keep scrolling down and then you'll see here you can sign up for an individual seller account which is totally free and this may be a better route for you to get started it and eventually you can move on to the pro account. Once your account is set up, you're going to want to go to your local stores, your local grocery stores, and look through their clearance items and find cheap stuff that you can then flip for a profit on Amazon. Now, Amazon is going to provide you with different tools like their Amazon seller app just so that you can do your research and know what is selling, how much it's selling for. But there are also many other apps that people have created to help people who want to join this type of business. There's also forums and Facebook groups, YouTube videos. Just do a little Google digging if you want to get into this lane of making money online with Amazon. And again, the amount of money you're going to make with this method really just depends because Amazon takes out different cuts from different items depending on what it is. So it depends on what you're selling. It depends on how often you're listing new items. It depends on how well they sell. So just do your research to find out all this different information. Again, I left a ton of resources down in the description, so check those out. Now onto the disclaimers, the advice slash tips that I have for you. The first thing is that you need to start with just one method. It's going to be so tempting that once you get started, you want to continue and start exploring all the other methods, but that is the biggest mistake that I did in the beginning. I took on way too many things at once and then I got overwhelmed and gave up with everything. So if you don't want that to happen to you, make sure that you are explore one method of making money online with Amazon, stick with it, study it, and then once you master it and you've got things going a bit, you can add on something else so that you can have different revenue streams. But always start with just one so that you don't get too overwhelmed and give up. The second thing is that it's going to take a whole lot more than just one. It's going to take a lot of books. It's going to take a lot of shirts, a lot of blog posts where you recommend Amazon products to get commissions. I was so naive when I just got started. I thought that once I published my first book, I was going to be set and I was going to gain some momentum and start making money but I was so wrong. It's going to take a lot of trial and error. It's gonna take a lot of consistency. You're going to have to publish multiple things, whether that's shirts, books, blog posts, before you start seeing some momentum. So give it some time, take the action, analyze the results you're getting from it, make some adjustments and keep at it. Eventually you will start seeing the results. This is like planting a seed where you want a big tree to grow. You're gonna have to plant the seed. You're gonna have to tend to it and water it for a long time before you start seeing it grow. But once it grows, it starts growing pretty fast and it provides you shade for a lifetime. And that's what I explained in this video right here, the three truths that every beginner beginner must know so go watch that now and thank you so much for stopping by today i hope you have a go crushing week and i'll see you next time